Good morning. Um, we got a long day ahead of us, and we get to start it out by sitting in traffic. So we currently got uh, a little bit of stuff to do. We got to go to class today, and then we are headed to the airport a little bit later. Uh, but I figured, you know what? We're gonna vlog a little bit of this trip. So let's start it out with how the day usually begins for me, and that is in traffic. So. You get to see all the beauty of the behind the scenes action that starts my day. Yet, yeah, I'm not even mad about that. We made decent time. This is my uh, my standard view from uh, my parking garage. Uh, but yeah, we made decent time. I mean, we didn't we didn't lose too much time in, in traffic, which I got like really spoiled last time uh, because I I drive into school on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, into the city. And Tuesday, I, I drove through normally rush hour traffic, nothing. I was like, what is going on? I think it might have been for the, uh, the the storm we were supposed to get, the Northeast was supposed to get hit with a heavy snowstorm, but uh, it never ended up happening, so I think some people may have just been like, yeah, I'm gonna work from home today. That, that would have been my best guess, but I have no idea other than that. But um, I don't know how much filming I'm gonna do during the day before I get to the airport and stuff, because I, I just have standard class. And I'm going to my grandparents to drop off my car and then go to the airport. So, I mean, it's nothing too vlog-worthy, I don't think. Nothing too amazing, but, I mean, we'll, we'll see what, what's up. Okay, and uh, <laughs> anytime that I travel, I literally love to show you guys the hotel rooms just because like, I, I think it's the coolest thing. Um, and this might be one of the nicest, I think, that I've ever stayed in. And it's super cool with a super sick view, all right? So let's start it here at the beginning, okay? We'll, we'll start this little mini tour. Start at the door, okay? Nothing, nothing special there. Come in, you got a cool little closet. Yeah. Once again, nothing too special, but I want to start this from like the from what you see when you walk in, okay? So you walk in and you see this nice door, dude. Sounds weird to say. Slides back. Got yourself a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Beautiful. What's up, fam? Honestly, dude, though, like if you don't have a good shower, you're not gonna have a good day. You gotta have one, and this is a mighty fine specimen. Let me come out, and we got the nice little room here. Quite an echo, so I was kind of thinking about doing some videos, but I feel like because there's adjoining doors and adjoining rooms, so I feel like I want to totally wake up a neighbor if I, if I do some videos. But uh, this is it. We've got a king size bed. Got some cool decor. Got some cool stuff like that. A nice little TV. Gonna be sitting in uh, sitting in bed late at night watching movies. Probably not because that they charge you on everything. And this is my view. Check that out. Dallas Fort Worth. All at my fingertips. That is a nice view if you ask me. I'm pretty hyped about that. So, I think what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna go catch up with uh, Ray's, Tabor, and maybe Ace. I think Ace is actually still in transit. I think he had a layover. Um, so, because he's coming, he's coming from Canada, I believe. Um, so, I think we're gonna we're gonna hit the the nightlife a little bit. And uh, we'll keep you updated because we got some cool stuff on the horizon. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Warm-up match didn't go too hot. Can't see it, but at least that top fragged. We got match one going down right now. Playing MRN Esports. Team all caps all the way. Fam, it is time for match one. We're playing NRM. For MRN Esports, Spanish team, pretty good. We're gonna give them hell, and hopefully not not do too, too terrible. And uh, 
Ray is over here. It's gonna be okay. It's, it's gonna be all good. We're about to do this. We're about to hop in the match. You wanna see this? You wanna see us through to the end? In case you're wondering how match one went, that uh, wasn't the greatest. But we'll come back. Six to one. Six to one in search. We got searched and destroyed, as Ray said. And uh, hey, we, we took one round. That's that's a positive. I wasn't expecting to even do that. So you know, this ragtag team, we're we're making a run through losers bracket now. <laughs> We out here, we're playing N20 next, and uh, it is going to be our run through loser's bracket, the triumphant road to victory. We'll keep you updated. Well, if you're looking so I didn't quite give you the update from, uh, from when we left off, but we ended up getting 2 0 again, and uh, as the 94th seed, we placed, well, 94th open, we placed top, like, 125. Okay, it's all right. We never practiced together. We never had any pro experience, and uh, <laughs> it was a fun time all around. It was just certainly just something to to open your eyes to see how everything else works in that regard, like in a competitive sense, and to see how the the system works, both from behind the scenes and to actually play it as as, as a competitor. It's, it's something cool and a, a nice refreshing view at the scene and the experience and to see how it all goes down. So it was very cool and uh, a huge, huge shout out to my good friends in Activision. This is absolutely without any possibility, uh, it would have never happened without them. So huge shout out to them. They they hit, hit us up and they're like, yo, you wanna, you wanna come down and try this out and see what it's like? So I was like, okay, cool. So we got this little ragtag team together and we uh, we won a couple rounds of search and destroy, and that's about it. <laughs> so um, for right now, once again, huge shout out to them, huge thank you to Activision for flying me out, getting here out, uh, getting us out here, and to have a good experience and a good time. And now we just get to cruise around Fort Worth for a couple of days. So it'll be fun. We'll have uh, a good experience for the rest of the couple of days, and you guys will of course be right there with us. So thank you guys for the uh, the support on Twitter. I know a lot of you guys actually like got really behind that, so it was really cool to see some of the support over on Twitter trying to because I loved the idea of it I, I, I loved the idea to try and do this but I don't know if it can ever be pulled off I would love to do a uh, an all caps versus pink wall scrim sometime so with Legion T Martin drifter and I I can't think of the the fourth's name right now but yeah that'd be super cool to do I'd love to do that maybe but all in all that's where we're at right now with this weekend got eliminated double eliminated first round so it was it was an experience <laughs> All right, day two of the actual event, uh, and we're gonna go hang out at the venue, I think, a little bit, and then go explore some downtown of uh, some downtown of Fort Worth. So should be good. We'll bring you guys along for the ride, and uh, I, can't, I can't get over this view. It is just—it's so nice. I think, like, what? Oh, I love it. We happen to wander upon a sweet little park. Got a beautiful view up top there. Down there's a little waiting pool, but you're not allowed to wait in it, so I don't know why I called it a waiting pool. Um, come over here, you got some cool, like, you're not supposed to climb it, but we are way high up and we didn't climb it this side, we climbed up this side, but this side seems a little bit more manageable. I don't know if you're like not supposed to climb up this side as well, but there's tons of people up here, right? Like we're we're in the clear, we're all good, right? We're not breaking any laws. So I just wanna say Fort Worth is beautiful. For anybody that actually lives here, it's awesome. And uh, I'm incredibly jealous of your downtown area. Pittsburgh doesn't really have anything like that. And I'm vlogging honestly va <laughs> rather jealous. Raise is vlogging me vlogging right there. Did I, did I get him? I don't know. Views part two. This is like such a cool little structure that we stumbled upon. It is super steep though, holy hell. Yes, I, I would agree. I concur that. You know, this is kind of freaks me out, actually. Yeah. Like, just like I, I know, I know you're more, more scared of heights, but that's, it's pretty terrifying. Bro, what is this? Why? Once again, why can nothing back home be this awesome? 
it's like everywhere in this park that we go, I keep getting more amazed. It's so tranquil and peace. It really is. So if you guys want to check out the images, I'll have them linked down in the description below. But they look pretty cool. The only thing about this is now that we know these weapons are coming, I guess kind of like the floodgates were coming. The reason for the season, my everything out of out of out of my state. I love every time I get to come to a trip here. It's fantastic. Oh yeah. This is the reason that I'm alive. What I live for. What makes this trip even more special. So I'm hoping that the vlog turns out well enough that it's 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 got enough substance to it and it's got enough content that's like it's actually cool. But like one thing on a serious note is like it, the the coolest part about being going into these trips and these events um, with different content creators is that it is something that is completely just a surreal experience because some of these people you've you've never met before in your life. Some of these people you've known for quite some time. Some of them are genuinely awesome people. But the coolest part, I think, is that they get it. Um, especially like this, this one was more of a competitive scene type thing, but whenever it's like DLC events or COD XP or something like that, the coolest part is that the people that are there are genuinely like huge fans of what you do because they're, they do the same thing. And like I think that's one of the coolest things ever is you get to hang out with people that genuinely understand what you do not from just like a, you know what, that's kind of cool. I, 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 res I like, I, I respect the hustle, all that kind of stuff, but like they genuinely get the entire th process, the creative process that goes into it, thinking of ideas, grinding it out, trying to find time to, to do all this stuff. And it's just one of the coolest things ever that I think is, is just an awesome opportunity. And it's just, I, I was thinking about that earlier today and I was just like, I, I don't think that I have ever been truly connected like that because like I, between hockey, music, YouTube, things like that, it's there, there's a lot of things that I'm passionate about and a lot of things that I, I get to do. But YouTube is one of those things that you get to create, you get to express yourself on a whole different level, and it's something that since it's a new medium of, of entertainment, not many people truly understand it. So to be able to meet your friends out here and hang out with them for a couple of days on end, it's one of the coolest things ever. And now that we're wrapping up day two of the event, like day two of the full event, it's kind of sad because like people are starting to go home now and it's, it's like, well crap, and now I gotta go back to normal life. And it's, I don't know, it's a weird, weird feeling, but I mean, I'm super grateful, super, super grateful to be out here. Like I said, huge thank you to my good friends in Activision for setting this up. It was just a fun little trip that we decided to do, or they decided to do, and I was fortunate enough to be invited out to, so can't thank them enough. It's been a blast, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, I hope it, there's more than just filler content in this. I hope there's like actually substance that, uh, my arm's getting tired. Hopefully there's some stuff that's actually like awesome to, to showcase a little bit with you guys. I know we, we had some cool stuff that was like, Further content, but a lot of it hopefully you guys actually enjoy, and I still, still love that view. Oh my god. But yeah, Raze is going home. I'm gonna have tomorrow with uh, Ace and uh, Tabor. It should be fun. Watch a little bit of the uh, the championship Sunday, and uh, I guess we'll take you along for that as well. It's rather sad because this is the last time that we're gonna wake up and see this view, and uh, I quite like it actually, like a lot. This is, uh, Fort Worth has probably been, like, I've done a lot of traveling, but this is probably, like, at least in the immediate area that I've been in, probably one of the nicer downtown regions. So I'm super jealous of anybody that, like, lives in the downtown area of Fort Worth, and that building, for some reason, I just, it fascinates me. A part of me is like, yo, that kind of looks like, kind of looks like the Tipton from <laughs> The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, if any of you guys were old enough to remember that, or my age. If you're older than me, you probably definitely remember it. If you're younger, you might not, but I don't know, it's just like a cool looking building and I think that might be the like subliminal thing that is uh, the catalyst there for that. But we're gonna head down to, uh, to Championship Sunday at the event to meet up with uh, Tabor and then uh, Ace, but Rays is already back home. He left in the morning. Actually, a little funny story before we go, he actually almost missed his flight because of me. So. <laughs> this isn't like anything that I did. It just happened to like come through me. But I, I'm sleeping. His flight is like at six in the morning or something like that, and I'm sleeping. 
and uh, I wake up because I hear um, there's like some movie on in the background that I left the TV on with um, and I'm sleeping in the background I hear some like major noise from that and I kind of jolt myself up with it and I check over and look at my phone and I have like seven missed calls three messages two voicemails and I'm like oh my god what's going on and so I look at it and it's the uh, the pickup service that we we have for these events uh, it's the confirmation text for that and then it's the actual driver like texting and calling like hey man I'm here where you at you okay and uh, I, I check this and it's like 40 minutes later and I'm like oh my god so I text the driver back and he's probably driving he was I thought he was driving at this point because like I figured there's no way that raises that late and uh, and and that they messed it up like that so uh, <laughs> I text the guy back, and I, I text Raze, and I was like, yo, you good? And uh, he's like, yeah, the guy was kind of mad at me, but uh, it's all sorted out. He knows that he made the mistake and texted the wrong person. So, long story short, Raze ended up getting on his flight, but uh, almost missed it because of me. And he got to the flight, I think, apparently, when, and the terminals were down to get his boarding pass. So he almost missed his flight entirely. But good thing he didn't. And uh, yeah, now we're going to head over to Champions Championship Shun... Championship Sunday. I think we're good on that take. So we'll see you down there. The one kill comes through, but they end up dropping, not able to find in the back. Now he's got three to deal with, tries to get to the end. He's tagged up. They're flying out. Just trying to see if he can pick up one kill with this. He tries to drop it to us, the backside of observation. Does not pick up one. It's going to be Crimson picking up another. Gunless is out. Silly is gone. Just the twins left. or the CWL Dallas and uh, I've been doing a lot of lying in the hotel room because it's just I hasn't had I haven't had the greatest opportunities to try and do it uh, out out anywhere else but uh, funny story we actually just ran into Scump's mom in the uh, me and me and Ace just ran into Scump's mom uh, in the elevator and she's like so are you guys at the event and we we're like yeah we're the youtuber crew that got invited out and she's like well this is your first event right she's like yeah and we were like yeah and I think that we, uh, I, I, I don't know, it's just a weird encounter, I think, because we placed dead last in the tournament, and her son just won CW Dallas, so <laughs> it was, uh, it was a, an interesting little exchange, but we're gonna be meeting everybody down, uh, down a little bit for drinks at the bar, I believe. I'm not much of a drinker, but, uh, it's just one of those things, it's celebratory time, and I think a lot of the pros are gonna be down there, so we'll go hang out with them, but... I want to show you guys what I got here for this because if you guys have never had Five Guys Burgers and Fries, I don't even know if I want to bust it out, but I just, it's so greasy, but it's so good. But, uh, it's a little hefty on, on your wallet. Couldn't figure out the zoom which way it was going to which. Uh, it's a little hefty on your wallet, but nonetheless, it is incredibly tasty. And I, I say hefty on your wallet because, like, you get a cheeseburger. My, my order tonight was a cheeseburger, french fries, and a drink. And it was... 1650 a little too pricey but it was the only thing open that was like on the way from the hotel or the venue to the hotel so i was like eh, i haven't eaten all day i should probably just do that um last thing though actually really cool is a uh, huge shout out to my good friends in control freak i stopped by their uh stopped by their booth a little bit okay i'm still trying to get the hang of this like manual focus thing so uh stopped by the booth got this bad boy little little bit of a snapback on the 
snap bag action right there. So we got uh, we got that. It's absolutely, I love that. That was one of the things I was eyeing up since they actually released it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Once again, huge shout out to my friends in Control Freak for the hookup on that. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Good time seeing everybody at CWL Dallas. And we're gonna head down for drinks. I don't think I'm gonna really bring the camera for that. Just because I don't want to get, I don't want to put the camera in everybody's face and all that if like I'm talking to the pros. I don't want to be that guy, you know what I mean? So I think we're just going to catch it up on tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little bit less tonight, I don't know. But regardless, you might see some more travel vlog. But all in all, that basically sums up CWL Dallas, Optic, your champions. Almost got double reverse sweep, but they didn't. They closed it out, 6 0 E United. Great grand final, honestly. Super, super exciting and fun to watch. So that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys made it this far, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, the look in at both us being <laughs> pros and uh, any the just look in at what we did as somebody bringing you guys some of the cool stuff from CWL. So thank you dude, so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and uh, that's going to be a wrap on this weekend. I've put so much footage probably this view in, but I just, I can't get over it. And this is the last time I'm gonna see it. So, Dallas, Fort Worth, you've been wonderful. Activision, thank you for the opportunity. It's been something that has been just such a, such a super fun weekend. And I am incredibly honored to be a part of it. So um, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and everything. And, uh, once again, thank you to Activision and just anybody that supports the channel to the point where this is something that is possible. So, I want to thank you guys so much. Got to head downstairs now to check out and uh, go to the airport. So, get to leave the beautiful 70 degree, or 70 to 80 degree weather for uh, the bitter 10 to 20 degree weather back home. So, that'll be fun. I just noticed this this building has a like, nice balcony too. It's over here. How nice that is. Ah, I just want to chill out on that. There's a grill down there too. Oh, good cookout stuff.